and I run into this a lot because I've been doing this a long time. And when you start to t make references to different generations or different athletes or different times, you get that blank stare sometimes of somebody who is younger who go, mm, not, not familiar with that. And I try not to lecture or scold even my own kids because I always say, you know what, research it. Just research it and get a better sense of who this person or what that moment was like. You know, Jesse Owens, 1936. Just understand what it was like, what it could have been like for him to be there in Nazi Germany and to compete and compete at a high level with Hitler standing there watching, wanting his Aryan nation to dominate. I mean, just, just imagine what that had to be like. And Jackie Robinson with what happened with him. Even the, you know, 68 Olympics, Sports Illustrated did a great article on this of just understanding Tommy Smith and John Carlos. At that time, what they did. You know, we look at like Colin Kaepernick not kneeling or not standing for the anthem. That's nothing compared to what they were doing. They were on the Olympic stage. They're on the podium. They had won two of the three medals, and they did black power, had black gloves. They took their shoes off, and this was in front of America, in front of the world, and they did that. And it took 40 years for people to actually look back and give them praise or say nice things. It's sort of like Muhammad Ali. When Muhammad Ali lit the cauldron in 1996, like it, you know, it's amazing how many people loved Ali then. But when I was growing up, white America liked Joe Frazier. They wanted Joe Frazier to shut up Muhammad Ali. And you know, I wasn't old enough at the time to understand, well, he's not going to the Vietnam War. But what two years later, what really rang true is my father saying to my oldest brother, I'm not going to I'm not going to make uh, have you go to that war if you get drafted. He said, it, it's a war we're not going to win. You're not going to that war. And my dad was in the Korean War as a Marine. And, and that's when I realized what Muhammad Ali was saying, even though it was unpopular and at the time unpatriotic, he said, I. I don't have any qualms with the Viet Cong. I, I don't have, that's, why, why are we fighting these people? And, you know, when then you look at Ken Burns' documentary, oh my God. It's just so powerful when you see all the mistakes we made and all the presidents who made these mistakes and all the kids, you know, who lost their lives, men who lost their lives. That's why whenever I am at a veterans parade, I always look for the Vietnam vets because they are the ones who are forgotten. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.